Hi everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk about. As you all know, I'm autistic. My case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today, I'll be talking about the nonprofit organization known as Dive Heart, who I do some of my scuba diving trips with in Cozumel. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This video is inspired by my involvement with this organization, which was founded in the year 2001 by Jim Elliott and his goal of applying scuba diving to the same principles as adaptive skiing. I first discovered them in 2015 in a Google search and an article featuring one of the people who I would later meet in Cozumel a year later, Nick Johnson, a fellow autistic diver who was being interviewed by WGN in Chicago along with his father Glenn, who I would also later meet in Cozumel as I'm good friends with both men. My friend and mentor, Wendy Crown, a year later in 2016, convinced me to get involved with Jim and also dive with her. But things had went wrong that year. Despite the bad things that happened, I had good and bad moments on this trip. After my second trip, I ended up getting more experience as a diver. And due to me being a diver with the Adventure Aquarium, it prepared me for my third trip. I was originally meant to go to Key Largo in 2020 for their adaptive scuba summer camp as their guests as one of their ambassadors, but due to the dark times in the world, it was pushed back along with raising money for my fourth Cozumel trip, which was originally for 2021, but instead will be in 2022, while hopefully the Key Largo trip will be in 2021 once things get better. The origin of Dive Heart started when Jim, who has a daughter who's blind, was also an adaptive ski instructor who had an idea on what if this could be applied to scuba diving. Jim quit his job with WGN to start Dive Heart, which in 2021, it's its 20th anniversary. One of Jim's goals is to build a deep water pool in the future as he and executive director Tina Marie Hernandez have been doing research on for years. They along with Rachel Crane, the training coordinator, train and certify adaptive divers, buddies, and instructors each year. They've expanded to different parts of the world such as Malaysia, Costa Rica, etc. They also do trips to Costa Rica besides Cozumel and Key Largo. If anyone's interested in getting involved with Dive Heart and, or, or want to learn more about them, I'll be sure to post links to their channels and other details in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times, when going out, always wear a mask, practice social distancing in the form of staying six feet away from others, wash your hands, carry hand sanitizer with you, avoid large gatherings, and we will get through these dark times together. And of course, Happy New Year, Happy 2021, everyone.